Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Master Duel video in the new season. So I figure, hey, jump in while there's probably a good mix of people who have good decks versus bad decks. Even gold fiving can get a little bit crazy. So yeah, let's go in there with a new season. This is the deck that I'm currently rocking. I was finally able to build it based off of the Arm Dragon Thunders. Because if you don't know this, in the Japanese version of the game, if you've ever wondered why the Armed Dragons came back as Thunder, it's because um, Chaz is called Manjome, and he has a constant joke slash thing. Instead of saying Chaz it up, he basically says Manjome Thunder. Well, he does an entire like 1, 10, 100, 1,000 uh, Manjome Thunder. 10,000, there you go. So that's why Armed Dragon level 10 exists, and that's why he's also doing his little pose. So yeah, in, in Master Duel, I was able to make a deck out of these guys, because in Master Duel, there's actually cards that <laughs> remain banned on DZG that make it so you can actually kind of combo off with them. Mainly, it is this guy right here, the Galaxy Tomahawk, and um, some Morg, which will allow you to have it a negate on the field if things go bad. It is not the greatest deck. It is a fun deck, though, and I like it, and I get to use the Arm Dragons. <laughs> It's really just a way to play the game in a very elongated way. It doesn't do anything better than any of the big top decks do, but it is fun to play. So let's go. Let's see how it goes. Last time I recorded a video, I was fighting Dynamorphia, and they were trying their best to do anything. So I'm hoping to get a similar deck that's kind of built that way. That or a Bricked Flu, whichever one happens first. I might also still screw up because you have to kind of put some kind of thought and effort, and this is a... Mm. He has Maxi. Okay. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. That's annoying. You can always tell when someone has Maxi. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to use his effect. Discarding Thorn Thunder Dragon. So at most he'll get one card from this. Uh, I don't know if I want to take him into the next form of Arm Dragon. I'll see what I draw from Arm Dragon here. Unfortunately, I didn't have any way to stop that, so use that effect. Ooh, that's not bad. It would require me to banish. He would then draw two cards, but then he'll be level seven. I don't think level seven really does anything. Hmm. Hmm. Screw it. Uh. Yes. Get rid of you. And I will summon number seven. And then level five will activate its effect. It will not activate its effect. I was thinking of something else. Uh, we're fine for here now. I can't go any further, so I can't go further, but it wouldn't matter, but we're fine here. Chances are we lose with that much. Two Kudral should be enough for him to completely kill me. This is just a 2800 beat stick that can easily be taken down by anything. So let's see what they got. Okay. I'm not here for about three hours of playing against this deck, <laughs> so let's move on to the next fight. <laughs> I have a way to beat them, but it's so annoying, and I'm not about to have the rest of this video watching this Trap Tricks player play. <laughs> so, next video. Next, there we go. Plus, it's early in the season, so who cares? Enjoy your free win, my friend. You have earned it. Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit better. Starting hand. Yeah, the maxi was definitely... Definitely bad. I should have honestly kept playing. Now that I think about it, I don't think that deck would have been able to beat it, but it's fine. This hand. Ooh, actually. This hand's fine. So. I think. Uh. Yes. Add one card from my hand. Discard you. Goodbye. Nope. I won't Ash Blossom my own stuff. Add something from my hand. I will pick. Drag Unity. And then this will activate its effect, which will allow me to get basically anything for free. I think I will get File Arm Dragon. 
then I'll use Pile Arm Dragon's effect. I think I have to get rid of Arm Dragon level. Actually, no. I'll keep that. Get rid of that. Bonk, bonk. Activate his effect. I have to be very careful on this. Sending him. And then you click. Yes. There we go. That was a bad draw. I want to see a very bad draw. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. That's the end of the combo for me, unfortunately. I should have, I had to figure out a way to try and summon him and him, and I would have had a great combo. Basically, if I had drawn anything but that, I think I would have been solid, but oh well. Sometimes it happens. Next turn, though, if I don't die instantly to whatever this deck is, maybe we'll have a chance. <laughs> this guy's probably wondering what the hell is going on. I also leave it in attack mode, because who cares? He, if he dies to um something bad, then he dies to something bad. Ooh, Altergeist, I think. No, Black Wings. Black wings we should be able to handle. They're scary, but they're not the most scary. I think it's... Yeah, let's get rid of them. Well, he won't be able to stop it completely, but... I'm gonna assume he has no follow-up in his hand. No, actually, he did have a follow-up, because he used... That was a special summon. He uses another one! <laughs> Oh, that's the... Oh, wait, no, no. It has to be Blackwing. Okay, there we go. There's the Blackwing. Why didn't he... Play that to begin with? It doesn't matter. For the most part, unless he OTKs me right here, I don't think Blackwings are very scary, so we'll be fine. Mm, I say before things go very bad. Yeah, and you get basically two of them. That's definitely bad. But now he can't summon anymore because he uses no yeah, he can still special summon, but that's about it. Boom ba dum ba dum ba dum what else you got, bro? Very interested to see where you go from here. Usually when I fight Oh. That's bad. Do you not have a tuner? No, you have a tuner. Okay. Just to do it to be sure, I guess. Raid Raptor. And then, let me guess, you have more cards now. Oh, no, it's only with normal summon. Never mind. We're fine. You can probably link into something big. Yeah, he definitely has the ability to kill me right here. Well, not anymore. Add it from your deck to your hand. No, I think he still probably has a chance. He's definitely comboing off. Wake up magic for sure. Can use the stern. Bore the spear, returns back. Turns it back to the hand. Everything's hunky dory. Takes 400. It's funny that this is a once per duel effect. You don't see very many of those. Rusty Bardish. Still fine. I don't know much about this deck, but I assume like most decks, it could probably just go into Axis Code and win. Hmm. No trap in the deck, so we can still keep on going. Mm -hmm. ay, ay, ay. I should just scoop, but I think there's still a chance to win this, so I won't scoop yet. Now there's less of a chance. Actually, no, I still have Harpies in my hand. It's fine. I was like, ah, there's less of a chance now, but not actually. He doesn't have game on board. He's just not. He just won't stop summoning. Uh, now you have something, right? Yes. Time Thief Redoer. That's the ultimate sign that you have nothing. Raider's Wing. Remove that, I guess. Wait a minute, I thought you couldn't use this. 
because isn't it when a quick play spell probably one of their many cards that says like uh actually you can use it this turn if you want Red Rapper Arsenal Falcon one away from the big guy Still not done. He probably still does have game here, though. Yeah, with Raiders Knight, I think that's it. Yeah, let me see. Just targets one of the his. What? What are you doing? Okay, yeah, now now it's over. I'm gonna quit before he gets the missions, and we will move on to the next one. <laughs> Uh, once it seems pretty clear I can't win that, I'll just let go. You don't get any of your EXP for that. Thank you for wasting both of our times. Let's move on to the next one. It's <laughs> probably what he wanted is the ability attack. All right, going second. Now, funny enough, I'm probably going to be leaning more to building second. I think that was the original version of this deck that I wanted was something that goes second. But I don't have enough Dark Rulers no more. I only have one, so that's not enough. And so I need more going second cards. Also need to replace Pot of Avarice with probably more. That's one of the cards I would definitely remove the second I have more. Oh, this hand's actually pretty good. I was actually able to draw my adventure stuff. Let's see. Doesn't care about the main deck. Uh Grand Maju maybe? Oh no. We'll see, huh? We'll see what you are here soon. Mmm, okay, what you are is bricked, apparently. What did you, what, what were you, what were you printing? What were you playing? I need to know now. Alter guys. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, buddy. I've been there too. Let's go into the next one. Let's see if I can actually win one for the real time, for the realsies. All right, going second. Let's see how this one goes. Both of us dragon mating point to each other, preparing for the next battle. What you got, buddy? Oh, this is an alright hand, actually. This would have been great going first. Exosisters. They... Mm, that might be pretty bad for me. I forget how these work because no one actually has the money to make them. What? Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Ah, uh, of course I drew the worst fucking card possible. Okay. Mm. If he has anything to this. Thing yet, huh? Okay. I forget. Is this a specific? I forget what I have to send for this guy. Send one dragon type. So I can send that. Two wind or dragon type. That's easy. Alright. See what he's got here. <laughs> You're gonna sell him straight? My little buddy? Why would you do that? It's mean. Pile arm dragon. <laughs> Absolute mean. Why would you do such a horrible thing? You have another solemn? <laughs> Please reveal another solemn. I think that'd be absolutely hilarious. Please do it. I'm begging you. I think the Exo Sisters can only special summon themselves when they have. Actually, they can't because of this guy, right? This card is normal. You can add one Dogmatica card. What? What did you add with this Dogmatica card? They're probably reading my cards because they have no fucking idea what they do. Okay, yeah, Floris. Uh, take one and take one. Breaks the dimension. Monster special summon them, but shuffle them both of them during the end phase. Also for the rest of this turn, after this card results, you cannot special summon monster from the extra deck except for sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. 
Now he's going to summon something. I don't think he can summon... No? Okay. I guess he didn't want to do anything. I will draw then. I can actually go... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you can add one arm dragon. There's one that adds one arm dragon and then one lund level. Okay, yes. Do I want to draw one card? Do I want to add a card to my hand? Hmm. Hmm. I want to draw a card from my hand. Let's see if he negates this effect because he has no idea what it does and he's just afraid. It's worked out pretty well for me so far in all my other games. Uh, people have no idea that Polarm Dragon, all I'm doing here is that I'm sending the Arm Dragon so I can draw a card. So they negate it, not realizing that the thing they need to negate is this little guy right here. So, what are you doing? Uh, okay. Sure. You're not really stopping that effect, though, I see. Draw one card! Well, that's probably pretty bad for my other guy here. But it's fine. I'll draw my one card. What? What are you doing? Banish it. Okay. Guess what I just top decked. Thank you very much. Ash Blossom me? Right here, right now. Nope. No Ash Blossoms. Yeah, why didn't they do Graveyard? That seems silly. Boom! Activate effects. Goodbye. I know what they have in their hand. There we go. So, here's one thing that uh, I really wish they kind of negated it. Does it actually have... What is this? What are you doing? Oh, you get to special summon more, I see. Sure. Okay. So yeah, I can only attack once because of what Pile Arm Dragon does. So, I can only attack once. What does this one do? Neither players can activate cards effect in the graveyard this turn. That's fine. Select one card. Equip card. Yep. Alright. Yoink. Get rid of you, goodbye. And then I will special summon. Hmm, okay, so... I need to start getting rid of some of their stuff. This thing is definitely annoying and I can't actually beat anything, so... I think it's only once per turn. Yep, okay. Back to the hand you go. How do you have specifically a wish? A wish after card? <laughs> Alright, you just win. You deserve this one. Uh, damn, actually, I can't negate that because I actually need it on the field. Uh, turn that to the hand. And no, it's fine. The effect should still go off.
You got this. Oh, what? Okay, it's fine. Ay, 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 ay. What a disaster. Alright, let's go. Bye bye, guys. Don't need you anymore. Like I said, I can only attack once, so. Okay, next. Let me just make something as you can. When your Dogmatica cards attack. Okay, cool. I actually wonder if I can just make Axis Code talk now that I think about it. But I think these guys prevent me from doing anything. But if I get rid of that, and then go into Axis Code. Hmm. 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 I think that might be the better play, to be 100% real with you. This can't be destroyed by. Yeah, it cannot be destroyed by cards from the special dumb about the extra deck, but the rest of these guys can. Uh, Smorg will give me at most one negate, so. Thinking. Nightmare Unicorn. Pop effect. I'm gonna return you. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Next, I'm going to make Link Spider. So I should give me two destructions of things this turn. I have one, two, three. No, I have three. Okay. Let's see, Axis Code Talker would be a smart thing to go into next. Hmm. Okay. Start activating some effects. Oh, he pooped. <laughs> thank God. He had probably no idea that I was only about to able to attack once. Oh, that was a good game. I thought that was uh, close to being bad for me. But all right, I will gladly take that one. I don't feel like I deserve that win. And if they had actually just kept on going on, they would have been able to win, I think. That was a good back and forth. That's always fun to do the early times of the season because people are running some different decks and I don't think I've lost to a single Exo Sister deck, but it also every single time I've ever fought this deck, it was with better decks. So when there are two decks that are actually kind of off meta, it can kind of go into some crazy stuff, right? As you saw right there. Also, this person was running Goes End Match. Fuck you, man. Even though I also run this card. <laughs> no, it's if you. If, that's the only way you can play one of these kind of effects. It kind of one of these kind of decks is that you need floodgates. If you don't have a floodgate, you're going to be into it for a bad time. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to still play around with my Thunderarm Dragons, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.